Hello YouTube, what is going on? Cabsonic88 here, and in this video guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make it look like 2D text is appearing out of nowhere. So, it's actually pretty easy to do, so we're going to head over into Panzoid Clipmaker 2, okay, and we're going to go to the Objects tab, create a shape called, and this can be text, um, let's call it uh, name, for example, we'll just use name because it's, it's the easiest thing we can use. Um, we're going to change the font to um, Gotham uh, Bold. Now, if you want this these, this font, uh, it is in my 5K packs. So guys, make sure you guys check that out. It was just released. Um, you can get this font uh, pretty easily. So now, we can do it in capital, or we can do it in lowercase. I'll just use capital because why not? Um, I'm going to shrink it down a bit, so we're going to go 0 0.8, 0 0.8, that looks a little bit easier to visually see, and what we're actually doing is we're going to create, um, we're going to actually make this red because this is actually more of an outline of how we're actually going to align the text, so this is what we're going to do, I'm going to duplicate the text, make this N, okay, and this can actually be white, so there's our N, right? And all you're going to do is align the N with this N. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but you want it to be as good as it possibly can. And you want this to be aim, right? So then it lines up with that. And that looks pretty good. And there's basically your outline. So you can delete the first text, create a new group, call it tech, Jesus text right drag it in you're gonna create two rectangles okay and this is this part is basically all creative so however you want to uh, which direction you want the text to appear in uh, you're not gonna obviously use the same um, shape locations and sizes that I'm using you're gonna use this basically uh, the way that you want it in the position that you want it and then you're gonna keyframe it however you like but I'm just gonna create it I'm going to have uh, a rectangle here, and I'm going to have a rectangle over here, and uh, we're going to make it look really nice. So you want the height, or the width, obviously, to be uh, so that it can cover up the, the text that you're going to be using. So in this case, I can get away with that. Um, you can drag the thing all the way just until it just so it's touching that uh, the letter because you want it to look really really smooth right so that's what you're gonna have to do so we're gonna have that shape there we're gonna duplicate it okay and we're gonna move it over here and then we're going to make it so that it can cover this text so it's obviously not big enough um, and then we're gonna go there so that can move it and then we're gonna do it the same thing so it's gonna just barely touch the top like that Okay. Um, I actually wait. So seven point. No, seven. No, this is seven point nine. Sixteen point five. Does this actually cover it? It does. Okay. So sixteen point nine. Oh, sixteen point five. My bad. Boom. So now what you can do? Okay, I'm just gonna drag these up because you know. Um, you're gonna set the positioning to point three because if you have shake, it will uh, appear to be glitchy. So. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to basically have some keyframes. So I want the N to appear at 30, right? Um, so we're going to we're going to create a keyframe and we're going to have it quadratic out. We're not going to change anything, OK, because we're actually going to go back to the front and manipulate the beginning positioning because we already had the other one uh, perfect. So you're going to basically make it so that it's it's on that that thing or whatever and then if you play it it's going to appear like that right now i think i chose the wrong numbers it's weird cuz it's it's not appearing okay so there there it is so it's actually point 6 that it's going to actually cover up that text so it's going to come out like that right and we're going to have it so that when it's at 20 right you can actually move this 20 the next one's gonna appear 
and we're gonna have um, it come and finish at 45 right so uh, position like that I go back to the original and make it up make it rise so now when you play it it's gonna look like that right you can uh, change uh, the outs and stuff to make it however you're, however you like but that's basically now you're gonna change the color of the um, these images to the color of the background so it actually look like the text is appearing out of nowhere and it looks like that and you can do some crazy things with this you can make it look really really nice um, it's a very great way um, to create some really fancy looking animations. You can do this with uh, other shapes as well. So it's not actually just text, but in this tutorial, I'm only going to be showing text. So um, without further ado, guys, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. And until next time, guys, peace and bye-bye.